Yeah, we gotta start from the beginning. Um, no, you guys are right. He literally is. Hold on, he's turning the music off. He literally is just uh, down to sale. Q and A. All right, let's see what the champion has to say. 2023 McDonald's All-American, 2023-24 Big East Freshman of the Year, 2023-2024 National Champion, 2024 NCAA Final Four All-Tournament Team Selection. Has to say. I'm most excited to play against Luca. I feel like he's probably the best player in the NBA right now. So, Can you imagine how frustrating it's going to be for Luka Doncic. He already struggles when when our boy Jeremy Sohan is guarding him. That's going to suck. It's going to suck. Uh, you know, just to have that kind of competition to, to go against some of, that, some of that I'm excited for. Probably be more nervous about the walk across the stage. Uh, Somebody in the chat said he's literally Devin Fassell. But guys, honestly, he's like Devin Fassell mixed with uh, Kawhi. It's, it's far as like... This is, oh, look, look, look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is some Kawhi level enthusiasm. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I feel like my draft fit will probably fit in or be better than most of the people there. So I feel like the walk is is really more, really more nerve wracking. I feel like the phrase time to be great. Uh, I feel like that's a phrase for great players, uh, especially like down in crunch time. I feel like that's something you say to, 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 to great players to get into that mode, to go, go with you again. You love it. I had a great time. That is a great phrase. Time to be great. Everyone should wake up in the morning and say it's time to be great. Yeah, Kawhi Monotone. Yeah, literally. Today, uh, thank you to Tiso Watches, the official watch of the NBA, and Stefan Castle signing off. Gosh, that was, that was hard to get through, Castle. The summer. Uh, it's like one of my first practices at UConn, and Donovan uh, ducked me in and sent me flying to the under the basket in the baseline. So that was my welcome to college moment. What did that feel like? Were you like? I felt crazy. I mean, uh, he was the strongest player I ever played against. Yeah, he he he. Yeah, look, Castle's a Castle's a great pick. He's a really great pick. Um, I've said this many a different times, uh, but he he does fit exactly what the Spurs need. Uh, it's it's not even it's not even funny. This is boring. That was an ad. Two times back, back to back. back. What's up? It's Clint Kong here to slam dunk your hunger. Welcome to Raising Canes where the chicken is so nice it'll make you win a championship twice. Hot fresh chicken for Timmy. Yeah, that's some good toast. Yeah, he's Kawhi. Imagine him in an H-E-B commercial. Good God. Oh, good God. Oh, it's going to be funny. It's going to be funny. Let's just hope he doesn't have an uncle named Dennis. When your parents force you to play in the NBA when you wanted to be a doctor. Exactly. Yeah, that meme, that old uh, Kawhi Leonard meme. All right, let's see if we can find it. Let's find that Kawhi meme. Kawhi Leonard meme. Yeah, here it is. Oh, wait. Oh, they, it's not. Okay, well, this is it. But Funny. That's the meme. When your parents forced you to be an NBA player, but you really wanted to be a doctor. That was a good meme. That was a good meme back in the day. I don't know you know already, but Sohan and Devin just follow Castle. There you go. There you go. On Instagram, you mean? You love to see it. I wonder, did did they um did they post anything on uh Twitter? Let's see, let's type in Stefan Castle. Let's see here. Spurs just added this next to Wimby. Yes, sir, they did. Yes, sir. Get that out of here. Yes, sir, they did. Three. Bang. Eric Salinas is happy. I'm happy too, Eric. Where is he at? That's a cool little room he's in. What the heck? That's dope. Uh-oh. 
Jay Billis. What he has to say about Castle. I like Stefan Castle as much as any player in this draft. Uh, he's fearless and a, a great competitor, especially on the defensive end. Yeah, he's a, a tough lockdown defender. And at 6'5", with long arms, he can really get into people. And I think uh, we saw in the NCAA tournament, especially against Dylan. He said, now the question is, can Castle run an NBA offense as a point guard? Well, uh, my friend, he has been adamant. I said this 50 million times. Uh, <laughs> before the draft even started, just so we could keep this in perspective. he's He was adamant, and his camp was adamant not to work out or not to go to a team that already has an established point guard. So that tells you everything you need to know right there, that he at least believes in his own abilities to, to run an offense. And I'll say this, from what I've seen from him uh, when playing with UConn, very high IQ, very high IQ player. Illinois, where he absolutely shut down Terrence Shannon Jr. He can guard anybody, switch out onto a point guard. He can guard bigger players. Uh, he's He's got a great frame, really, really tough. And he rebounds at a high level uh, for a wing. And when he grabs a defensive rebound, he can rip and run. He was a point guard in high school. That's another thing too. Yeah, we, we really, he's the, oh God, he's just the perfect fit. Cause we really struggle with that with you know when talk, people talk about like oh lob to Wimby like obviously right yeah we need more lobs to Wimby but one thing that we've struggled with is outlet passes as well right we we didn't really have anybody Wimby can do outlet passes not to like an elite level but he can do outlet passes but no one else on the team really can I mean even Trey Jones outlet passes aren't the best but uh Castle is a good outlet passer uh, and he's got pick and roll ability. We still need shooting. We still need, sh look, 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 let's get this out of the way. We still need shooting and we still need a backup center. Okay. We know that. We know that. Um, but this was, in my opinion, the most pressing need was a defensive wing. I feel like that was the most pressing need that the Spurs, uh, uh needed on this team right now. Right. Th those don't just grow on trees. Those are pretty tough to, especially ones with the type of potential that Castle has. Those do not grow on trees, so. As a pick and roll handler, but right now he's primarily a driver and a transition offensive player, but he needs to improve his shooting. And keep in mind, keep in mind, um, hold on, we'll listen to Jay Billis first, but I just saw a comment. I'll respond in a minute. Uh, he's a limited perimeter shooter, shot about 27% from three last year at UConn. But you look up winner in the dictionary and you're going to see a picture of uh, Stefan Castle. Dang. I like Stefan Castle as much as- You love to hear it. Um, somebody mentioned, so let me respond. Somebody basically mentioned, um, how stupid can the Spurs be when you trade away the eighth and you need players right now? Well, keep in mind, this is how I feel about it. This is Pedro who said it. This is how I feel about it, Pedro. I feel like the Spurs, if they're evaluating these players and they don't think anybody's worth it, um, especially because this is a weak draft anyway, if they feel like no one's worth it, 2025 is a stronger draft. We have more picks in that draft. Um, it's good to not hold on to a player that you don't genuinely want and a player you don't genuinely think that you can you need right now, right? So like trading away that eighth, yeah, it looks like future 2030, 2031, I'm gonna give it some time and see if this turns into something else because this could very well be like a chess move, right? Like just make the first move, but we're really thinking about the next move that we're about to make. Um, so they, they could be bringing in some more help um, there's not a lot of great people available right now, but just, just, just wait and see, man. You know, it might be Cam Johnson. Who knows? Just wait and see. And P Spurs, we trust, which as we should, they're, they're not a, they're not a franchise that's been bad. <laughs> okay. They literally start a rebuild in the year after they get win Bunyama. Like we let's just give them, let's give them a minute. All right. Let's give them a minute. It's okay. All right. So let's see what else we got on here. This guy's happy. Oh, oh, wait, I said this guy. That's RG3. What the heck? RG3? This is the Naruto Times NBA Draft Project, and UConn freshman guard Stefan Castle is Kiba in Azuka. Now, this guy's got... I, I never watched Naruto. However, I am watching One Piece currently. I, I finally started it. It's amazing. I'm like on episode 166. It's pretty great. Um, I'm a Dragon Ball fan myself. Oh, look at all this Dragon Ball stuff. 
Crazy confidence and plays with an attitude that makes him the best fighting partner. He always gives his all and he knows how to use teamwork to overpower his enemies. Hey, did I mention that he plays with attitude? I mean, he plays like his hair is on fire. Castle is a two guard, but he definitely wants to play the point. But what makes him a guy you gotta give minutes to early is the fact that he can play off the ball and his defense. It's the reason he got so many early minutes at UConn and became a factor. A 6'6 guard with length and want to. Wow, that's I mean, great defense, my God. My God. Eat him up. All right, I won't just steal RG3's content. Go follow RG3. What do you say here? This is the Naruto Times NBA draft. Oh, he posted it twice for some reason. Okay. All right. All right, take, take it away, Kawhi. I didn't want to go too crazy, so I let my chain really do most of the talking for my suit, but... I was happy with the way it came out. Just Castle Chain, last name Castle, threw my initials on there. So, I mean, I'm, I'm happy with it. Did you see the initials? Oh. Is it on there? Yeah, it's yeah. Oh, I see it. The S and the C. I didn't want to go. That's pretty cool. It's pretty creative. Stefan Castle and Wimby next year. That's so funny. That That's not the case, though, guys. But that is funny. NCAA national champion Stefan Castle is going to San Antonio. Yes, sir, he is. Get that out of here. All right, what's this? Donovan Kling and Stefan are showing love after getting drafted. Hey, Steph. Stefan Castle literally has the demeanor of T.I. He walks like T.I. Kind of sound like T.I. too. Let me see. Absolutely loving the reaction of Solo Ball with the Stefan Castle and Donovan Klingon picks. All right, let's see. 2024 NBA Draft. The San Antonio Spurs select Stefan Castle. Yes, fucking sir, boy! Yeah! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Who is this? Yes, sir! Who is this? Who's Solo Ball? Solo Ball? For Yukon? Isn't his name like Solomon? Is it Solomon? Is that who that is? I didn't know that people use the uh, common solo ball. Castle and Dillingham might end up splitting minutes if Spurs kept both. They went with the two-way player, keeping Dillingham with slow castles development. And we'll get into that in, a, in, in maybe another day. I'm literally getting ready to get off soon. Oh, oh crap. Dude, we have to plan it. He said, um, that this is uh, Genji. Okay, guys, big shout out to Genji. Go follow Genji on, tw not Twitter, wait a minute. I think I just had it up on YouTube. Nathan Burnett, he talks good basketball. Go subscribe to him on Nathan Burnett. Um, I'm not going to talk uh, much longer. Uh, Genji, Genji, sorry. I'm like literally, I'm I'm like really tired. I'm just going to talk to the chat for a little bit and then head off. But we'll have to plan something. Guys, go subscribe to Genji, and you can message me on um. On Twitter as well, as well, man. Nathan Budnett. Yo, clan, haven't been on here for a minute. Spurs are gonna 
regret this trade mark my words okay i mean i guess we'll see i guess we'll see nathan but net rules he does rule no worries i'm finna get off too all right man good stuff nonetheless I guess that's I guess that's all the news we really got right now. Um, I don't think we can. No, no, we'll get some more stuff, right? We'll get some more stuff. It, we'll have some stuff on. Oh, wait a minute. Can you talk about the excitement of going winning the NCAA championship to hearing your name called today? Um, I mean, everything is just happening like really, really fast. So, um, you know, just being in the natty, really soaking in that moment, uh, you know, with my teammates, you know, that's a super big accomplishment. And then, you know, flip over to a couple months later, you know, you and, you know, another one of your teammates are, are top 10 picks. You know, it really it, it really means the world to me. And, you know, I wouldn't trade. I love it. Anything. Can you talk about the excitement? of? I love it. I love it. He's so even killed. This is what you want, by the way. I want to say this. Uh, this is what you want in a in a in a point guard, all right? Even kill, relaxed, nothing 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 crazy, right? Nothing crazy. He, he's a genuinely he genuinely seems like a good kid. Here we go. Dan Hurley. Dan Hurley uh, hugs Stefan Castle's family. All right, here he is, Stefan Castle out of Yukon. You can line it up for me. I was listening to what they had to say. I love it. Excitement. He sounds like a fun guy. He does sound like a fun guy. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, let me see. Look at this image. Okay, I'm saving this. I'm saving it. It's too. It's too perfect not to save. Let's see what else we got. All right, this will be the last thing we listen to. Of course, it's the NBA draft, so you can't make any promises to anybody. But you know, I just can't wait to get out there and show my versatility, especially with you know the kind of talent that you know we already have on that team. You know, it being the youngest team in the league right now, so. Um, I feel like our future is, is pretty bright and, you know, I just can't wait to get out there. Really just being able to, you know, show my playmaking ability with, you know, such a great teammate like that and, you know. Hold on. He doesn't quite sound like Kawhi. Hold on. We're going to make him sound like Kawhi. You know, just learning how to play off the ball at UConn. So being able to show that as there well, we especially with having a, a great there teammate like, like Victor, being able to, That's you know, better. set ball screens for him and, you know, cut cut in space when, when teams are, you know, trying to load up on them. Um, you know, it's just, you know, just trying to use all aspects of my game to, you know, just impact winning. Um, I, I love it. I love it. That was close to quiet right there. I'm a fun guy. I don't even know where you're sitting at. Uh -huh, uh -huh. The Stefan Castle pick was awesome, but my Spurs are going to regret drafting. It's fine, man. We'll be all right. I did I did one Buzelis at eight, though. I'm not going to lie. But we'll see. Let's, let's give it a minute. Can't believe what happened with Rob. Eh, it's, okay. it's okay. Guys, Stefan Castle is worth all of it, okay? It's worth all of it. You get the guys that you want. Get the guys that you actually think um are going that was that was actually a reason there was a reason why i didn't want a salon either like i felt like that would just take some time and not to say that the spurs don't have time but they do kind of want to start winning sooner than later so why not get you know some future picks that you can trade trade potentially for you know some guys that can help right now i just don't worry about it right now let's just wait and see uh what comes out of this it's all right 
And I like Buzellas. I wanted Buzellas. You guys know. I was super excited during that draft to say, oh, I want Buzellas. Cooper flag, W. Oh, you, yeah, for next season, you mean? Yeah, don't worry about it. It's going to be all right. 2025 is where it's at. Not moving the needle unless we trade for an all-star. Uh, the Spurs will be a better team this year, for sure. Uh, I think they could be a play-in team. But, like, I've been very adamant. I, I don't think that... Even if you put Dilly... If you put Dilly on the team, I don't think the Spurs are automatically a, a playoff team. I think they're a play-in team. But we'll, we'll get more... We'll get more... Um, you know, we'll, we'll get more wins, for sure. Spurs got their priorities straight tonight. They did a good job. They did a really good job. All right, we'll leave it at that. We'll leave it at that.